Roy, I also would like to talk for a moment about um, your first um, publication, The Art of Hypnotherapy, which you have updated over the years, and the current one, the fourth edition, is so comprehensive, but yet an easy read, really, for, for hypnosis practitioners. And we've now made it part of our curriculum. We really ask all of our students to read that. You want to just give us the history of how this came about? I would be delighted to. In 1987, Charles Tebbets asked me if I would consider teaching his course. And through an amazing set of circumstances, I ended up teaching his nine-month course at Tacoma Community College, which is about 30 miles south of Seattle. After Charles Tebbets passed on in 1992, it became obvious that I needed a textbook to back up the course. So I ended up writing a book that I thought would be the whole course entitled The Art of Hypnosis, but that ended up being just the first three months. And then The Art of Hypnotherapy represented months four through nine of my nine-month course. It has since been expanded into a full year of training because of my belief in width and depth of training. And that book has become so popular that a number of hypnosis schools around the world now either recommend or require it. And Crown House Publishing, uh, who published my parts therapy book, eventually picked up the fourth edition of The Art of Hypnotherapy. And I'm delighted now that Crown House carries all of my books. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm not claiming to have read all the books um, on, on hyp hypnotherapy or hypnosis or um, um, any other various techniques on hypnosis. But what I do know is that this is um, a hands-on and it's, it's not difficult to understand. And if you're really serious about it, it has a logical, uh, chronologic way of teaching it and it has building blocks. So. Yeah, now that I know that it was found based on a course, it makes a lot of sense. And we one of the uh, places in the world that requires our students to read it. Thank, Thank you. you. I have often said to people that Charles Hebbets had so many clients and teachings that they needed a logical learning sequence. So that's what I did. I organized his teachings into a logical learning sequence. Uh, updated through my own professional experience as well as the experience of others in the profession. And I don't claim to have all the answers. No one does. Uh, and in fact, I'm still learning. Last year I went to a three-day pain management workshop, which I found to be very informative based on the teachings of Michael Eldner and Scott Sandlin, yes. who have done some profound work in pain management. That was of interest to me because I worked part-time seven years in the Franciscan Hospice, which is part of the Catholic Health Initiatives. And I found that the pain management techniques I learned from Charles Tebbets, plus a few more I picked up over the years, were extremely helpful in the seven years of part-time work with terminal patients. So uh, pain reduction techniques are of particular interest to me also because I suffered horribly from migraine headaches from first grade up until I took Charlie's class back in 1983 and found out that my headaches were caused from a technique that uh, is a psychodynamic of self-punishment. I was punishing myself yeah. for not being <clears throat> perfect. And once parts therapy helped discover that the judge didn't need to punish me for not being perfect, I've been able to live 29 years now with uh, very few headaches and for me that's as much difference as night and day. Yeah, I can believe that. I absolutely can believe that.